morning, Coffee Clatchers. It is Thursday, May 6th, and coming to you live here this morning. Um, I have a very simple little cardigan for you today. Um, yeah, not a whole lot um, that I can tell you about. I got uh, a few things to show you. I went, uh, finished up a, um, finished up a wedding shower um, prize thing. We did some chalking on some towels and I went flower shopping yesterday with my friends. So yesterday was good. Today is a little drippy and rainy. Um, hopefully this will clear out before the track meet this afternoon. And um, I've got my take three class today and tomorrow. So if you're in the area and want to come to a free card class, it's free with anybody that places a $25 order. Or if you're a part of my rewards club, it's only a $20 order. So good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Joan. Um, Nice to have you all along this morning. So a um, couple of quick things. I'm going to flip you guys around and show you a really cute card because I got some cardstock to cut this morning. It's a perfect day for studio work. So <laughs> um, it's good. It's all good. So I'm going to flip you around. All right. So we're going to make a really sweet little card using um, the stamp set Dragonfly Garden and Garden Wishes. So that being said, let me show you um, first um, Wednesday, I had a chance to start working with the layouts for layout class, which will be on the 27th of May this month. So this is the first set of layouts for our layout class. And you have a couple of days yet to um, sign up for that. I think registration closes maybe on the, oh, maybe the 20th. I'll have to look on that. But aren't these stinking cute? I used the paper pumpkin. Um, so cool to make a real cute little page using um, the watermelon. I think this would be great for summer, uh, you know, just about anything, um, masculine or feminine. I think this would be, a, it's just a fun one. So this is the first set of layouts, um, kind of fun. You never know quite what I'm gonna design, so <laughs> it, it, I never know what I'm gonna design. So it's always, um, it's always exciting. All right, so let's go ahead and get this this cute little card um, designed up. Again, I am on a mission to use as much designer paper as possible. So this is from the Dragonfly Garden um, designer paper. I find that I store them in these little Ziploc bags. They work well. So keeps things protected and clean and all together, my scraps as well as my um, full sheets. These are the little six by six. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the designer paper on the background. i um, using white as my cardstock here. I am going to stamp the saying, um, thank you for your kindness. This one is from the Dragonfly Garden. Let's hope that this is straight. I'm going to try it on here just to make sure. Yeah, pretty good. Of course, if I were really concerned about it, I'd pull out my Stamparatus. Not bad. I'll let that slide. Okay, we're going to set that aside. Um, and we are going to ink up. This is the sweet little flowers. So like I said, I went flower shopping with my friend yesterday. Um, I was good. I didn't buy anything yet. I have to kind of wait and see where the holes are in my flower beds before I can get too much more but okay so we've got just some sweet little flowers coming here so all right this bee I like the bee um that one is from the garden the garden wishes and I need to get out and check my bees um, here shortly and of course we need a little bee trail so isn't that cute so stinking cute all right, grabbing, I'm going to grab just some real simple colors here. This one is the Dark Daffodil Delight. And we're just going to color in our, and again, <laughs> for sake of time, I'm not going to do a whole lot of shading. One of these days, I'm going to do an actual video on how to shade instead of just <laughs> wing it. So... Okay, cute, so a couple more here. And I am going to use the light mossy meadow here. Add some color. I'm gonna come back with this one with the old olive to kind of fill in. The dark mossy meadow is really nice, but again, I wanted it a little lighter. I don't want it quite so heavy. So that's why I chose to use the 
old olive as well. Okay, we need yellow on our bee. Cute little bee. I have to get the little paper, um, I have to get the Wink Estella out into the bee wings, right? All right, let me find my, I've got some light, oh, I'll use the light old olive. So, so we got our onions all in yesterday. And those got done too yesterday. It was busy around here last couple of days. Weeds are starting to take over, so I kind of need to get out there and work on some of that. So. All right. Now that you've watched me color and know that I can color, I'm going to put those in another color too. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. Of course, I need to put the centers of my sunflowers on. This is a really sweet little set. And again, um, it does carry over into the new catalog. But it's just really cute. And again, you can find cone flowers in so many different colors. I like the pink, black eyed Susans. So, all right. I am going to put this on here just like that. But of course, um, I just want a little feature strip of the mossy meadow across the center here. All right, that looks straight, I think. Straight enough anyways. All right, and I don't have any, oh, here it is. I have some leftover ribbon um, that just retired and I thought this would be kind of fun to put it on here. The, um, the gingham, the butter, bumblebee gingham would work really well too, but we're just going to fold it, put a little bit, um, snibble of tape on there and fold it in half and stick that one right here and do the same thing over here. All right. And again, you could go all the way, you know, two crisscrosses all the way, but I'm just folding them in half. And we're going to add that right there like that. Super simple. Um, but wait, there's more. Add that right here like this. Cute. When this first, the, the colors in the this paper at first, I wasn't real crazy about it. I mean, I'll admit that, but man, they've grown on me and I've had a lot of fun with it. So um, I think you'll enjoy them. All right, so we're gonna stamp the dragonfly here in black. And then um, here in this set, there's little dragonfly wings. They kind of look kind of watercolory. Um, they're not meant to be perfectly lined up and you're meant to use both of them both ways. So it's kind of dual purpose. I'm going to add just a little bit of color. Maybe I'll put a little bit of green on here. And where's my, here's my light. So again, you can, you know, get as crazy with the coloring as you want. Use my dragonfly punch to punch this out. And we're gonna add that right here in the corner. Just a sweet little card using the dragonfly wishes as well as the garden wishes, both sets. I had to pull the bee from the garden wishes because that one doesn't come in the dragonfly so and again we could add a little bit of Wink of Stella up here on the oh. actually we could put it both on the bumblebee and we could put a little bit on our dragonfly too you can never have too much glitz right <laughs> all right so that is our sweet little card um, super simple, a good one for um, a good one for this kind of drippy gray 
day here in southern Wisconsin. So we will chat tomorrow. I do have to work. Um, I will keep you posted. I work tonight. Um, I, sh I have to get a new ID. Um, mine is expiring. So I do have to stop into human resources tomorrow morning. So I will keep you posted whether or not we will have coffee clutch or whether or not we have to postpone it. So I'll, I'll keep you posted. Thanks again, Stampers. We will chat soon and have a great day.